Well, the 2021 NHL draft comes to a conclusion here on this Saturday. Pleased to welcome in the general manager of the Calgary Flames, Brad Tree Living. And Brad, maybe just first of all, we'll start with kind of an overall assessment. I know uh, lots of picks here today, which is great. Eight picks in total. But, um, you know, just as this kind of draft went along, obviously it's great to make a lot of selections. What would you make of uh, the players you were able to get into your organization? Well, it's early. It's everybody's happy today. So, yeah. you know, today's start is it's it's exciting when you bring people into the organization. This starts now the the yeah. development process for for a lot of these guys. It'll take some time. They go, they'll get into the system, get into our development team. We'll get their hands on them and 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 get them through the system. But I think a lot of diversity in the group. You sure. know, we got some forwards, some defensemen, you know, some wingers, some center, uh, a goaltender at the end. So I think. I think we we covered a lot of ground, um, and you know filled up the reserve list in, in in a number of different positions. And overall, the group's real happy. We've talked a lot to Todd throughout this process, just about um, the challenges that they faced, and obviously a kind of a different year. But uh, you do your research, you do your prep work. Um, in terms of you know the way that this draft went, was there any surprises in terms of the way it goes down, or does it all kind of you know? I mean, everybody's got a different uh, draft board. Did it yeah. uh, kind of go to book? Well, I think there was a little volatility, as we expected. Um, yeah. Everybody's got their board, so I think it was probably in 31 other spots too. People um, either seeing people maybe go a little earlier than than expectation, or seeing people that were there later than expectation. So I thought you saw the activity in terms of um, you know some picks being moved and people moving down. You see a player falling that you like, and you want to jump up and grab him, and vice versa. So. Um, you know, quite a bit of activity activity today in terms of pick movement, um, but certainly, you know, not knowing exactly how things were, <coughs> excuse me how things were going to flow. I thought our guys were real were were real well prepared, um, and certainly at the end of the day, we're happy with with the outcome. Now, now you wait, and we wait. Uh, William Stromgren, I'll ask you a mm -hmm. second round pick. Kind of starts your day off here today. Um, you know, one of another few guys that have a lot of size in terms of the draft and in, in, in the second day. I think in in the end, there's you know four guys that are six foot three, but uh, William, another one that has some strength. He says he likes to play like that, a big body to create some of his offense. Uh, what do you make of the selection there? Just uh, what he can bring in terms of uh, his high end? Well, real good package, as you said. He's long, he's rangy, um, and for a guy that size, he skates tremendously well. Gets around the ice, like I said. A lot of reach. Um, we we like his offensive instincts. Versatile player, but can play all three forward positions. Um, so comes from good pedigree. You know, he was certainly a player that we were eyeing um, for the last for the last while on, in day two, and and we're happy when we got to 45 when he was there. Um, looked at opportunities maybe if we had to move up to to secure the spot, but um, it it fell our way, and and like I said. Time's going to tell, but we think we think it's a pretty attractive, uh, pretty, pretty attractive package of size and skill and speed. You moved down once to add another pick. I was going to ask you about, you know, we talked about Coronado, the mm -hmm. guy that, you know, played a lot of games or almost had a full season in the USHL. And then kind of on the other side of it, you got a guy like Jack Beck who didn't play at all in terms of the OHL this year. He was excited to be part of the organization, but he said, you know, got to work on a lot of different things this year. I mean, what about those two perspectives, the guys that play a lot and then a guy like him who hasn't had a chance to get in much action here? Well, I think that's a great example of, the 21 draft, right? Yeah. You've got you got guys that have played full seasons. You've got, you know, a guy in, in Beck who's played no games. Yeah. Um, he was a guy that certainly organizationally we were very high on. We thought if there was a season, and who knows how things flow, but we thought this guy was going to be a real, you know, high second-round pick. Um, has been real active in, during the pause, really working on his body, has put on a lot of mass, put on some weight, put on some strength. Um, so a lot of those listed sizes for guys – He's grown a little bit uh, over the course of the season. So, you know, he was a guy that we had highly ranked, did a lot of homework on uh, in his underage year, and certainly somebody we targeted today, and we're, we're excited to have him as part of the Flames organization. I got a chance to talk to uh, Lucas Yona just not too long ago. Edmonton guy, uh, obviously uh, proud to be a Calgary Flame now, turning the whole, f whole community, the family, over into the uh, Flame side, which is great. But, um, you know, Lucas, another one, he said that uh, ended up putting on a ton of muscle. When you look at those sizes, though, throughout this draft board, was that, you know, something you guys had high on the priority list? Did it just kind of fall that way? But just to see, you know, I think six of the eight guys are, you know, above six feet. Well, I mean, you always want that combination. you got to get the hockey player first, right? Mm -hmm. you, you gotta, it's, it's, 
got to be very careful on focusing on one attribute. What you're trying to find is the best player in that in 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 the area that you're picking, and and focus on sort of the traits that we really value. Um, you know, the fact that those guys have those traits and also have size, we think uh, uh, certainly helps. But um, you know, we have we've got a scout right in Seattle. Not that he would see him any less, but Rob had his had his eye on this guy, and we think there's a lot more potential there. Physically, maybe not a lot of growth as he's a big man now, but we still think lots of growth in his game. So i um, glad to have him aboard. One last one for me, and that's just as we get through this draft, obviously we saw lots of activity across the NHL uh, in trades, both moving picks and some players leading up to it. But uh, now the attention turns to the free agency uh, side of things. What about for you now as you kind of look at expectation-wise uh, over the next few days here leading up? Yeah, we're going to try to see if there's ways to help our teams, whether it be over the course of the next couple of days, weeks, months. Um, you know, we're, we're going to try to be active. Uh, again, we'll see what, what if that bears any fruit mm -hmm. um, and f try to find some fits. But we certainly think we've got some, you know, areas that we, need, we, we would like to address, and uh, that's what we're going to try to do. Do you sense that activity kind of continuing as far as, uh, you know, the phone calls and, uh, and what we've seen here the last few days? Oh, yeah, I think it'll be active. Obviously, you, you've got – there's sort of, you know, a wave of activity leading up to last night because you've got picks in play for sure. the last two days. Um, but certainly – you know, the, the activity for teams trying to help themselves doesn't stop. Now, you, like as you said, you've got free agency, you've got the trade market. Um, you know, we've got the expansion draft behind us. We've got, um, you know, the draft behind us now. So our, our focus turns on to our roster. Thanks for the time. Uh, as you said, it's a good day. Eight more players in the organization. Thanks for this. And uh, good luck moving forward the next couple of days. Thanks, Parks.